All right. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I appreciate it. I wish I could have said guys and girls, but I don't see any. <laughs> there is? Yay, guys and girls. Hey. <laughs> a couple of them. I really appreciate your time. Uh, you and Tal are uh, from uh, Liquid Daps. I'll explain in a bit uh, what it is. Um, I'm the CEO, Tal is the CTO. And um, the fact that you think we, we need to uh, have this discussion both in English and in uh, Chinese. Yeah, I, I saw that there, there are a lot of interest in some of the Chinese groups. So uh, I'm going to do the Chinese version as well. I, I think there are a couple of uh, um, Chinese audience as well. Good. I mean, if we record, it will be good um, for people um, good. to watch it later. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll try to do it as, uh, as slow as I can so you can uh, actually adjust yourself. So... Uh, Guys, you know us as uh, Liquid EOS, and uh, some of the founders are uh, ex Bancor as well. But the main thing we did in the last uh, six months was getting to know EOS, uh, SBPs. And uh, SBPs, you know as well as I do, that uh, we have discovered that this uh, uh, code, this mechanism, is much more uh, than me personally uh, have imagined in the beginning. And this brought, brought us to understand that we can do more than just becoming VPs. And uh, that's what Liquid Apps is all about. Okay. Uh, 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 Liquid Apps the uh, uh, Benny. Uh, CTO. Um, then, 之前大家可能会知道在社区里面他们是 Liquid EOS的成员 也是之前的这个Banker团队的 那他们讲说 过去六个月来讲 他们做学到最多的事情就是不断在学习 很多的事情那这就是为什么在过去六个月来他们去构思了Liquid Apps 这家公司 Alright, so Liquid Apps mission uh, in a way is to promote mass scale adoption of dApps uh, by introducing new uh, uh, products and new solutions that allow them to uh, perform much better and to create more uh, 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 more time for developers to come along and actually build on EOS. This is Liquid Apps' mission. Its mission is to make the DApps lifestyle more traditional and to make the popular users more traditional. Liquid Apps will uh, 通过一系列的技术方案去让在区块链上的开发这个大变得更简单和变得更能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能能
And these are some of the things we see today that we want to solve. 那在 EOS 做研发的话呢，会遇到几个挑战啊。第一个是啊，内存的价格还是非常的昂贵的。每个 GB 呢，啊，现在的价格来算，需要花十四万美金。CPU 也是 ，CPU 的价格也上天了，每秒钟的使用呢，呃，需要四十 EOS。呃、啊，再来就是他讲的第三个，就是我们现在有一些这个车链的出现，但是啊，还没有这个 IBC。呃的存在，这种好像 boss 已经有了，但是 anyway 这个他这讲的第三点没有这个 inter blockchain communication IBC 和跨链的这个技术。Right. Um, so a lot of our team members are coming from the internet, uh, and they saw that in the internet they have a lot of layers. You have the HTTPS layer, you have the ISP, the service provider layer on top of it. You have the websites and a lot of web services in the middle that help the website in general. Uh, the blockchain does not have this layer. We have the EOS, Ether, whatever. We have the block producer on top of them. That's us. And you have the dApps. And liquid apps want to be parallel to the web services in that aspect. <coughs> 那呃 ，Liquid Apps 团队呢，有挺多人是来自这个互联网背景。那互联网在互联网的架构下面呢，呃，它其实是一个分层的架构。那最底层的有 HTTP 或者 TCP/IP 这个协议层。那在这上面呢，呃，有 ISP 这个真正的呃运运运行的呃这个物理物理层的那个呃这些提供商。然后在最上层是网站，但在 Website 和 ISP 中间呢。它其实是一个会有很多呃网网络服务提供商。那在区块链世界里面，我们有最底层的，包括 EOS 这个这个协议层这个链层，然后在它之上有 BP 作为出块的。但是在呃 BP 和 d a p 中间呢，它是缺乏一些提供呃 d a p 呃服务的一些呃这个提供商。那这就是为什么呃 Liquid App 想解决的问题，就把这个呃。这个空缺给补上，那对应到互联网来讲，就是 web service 这一层。Thank you. So the way we're going to do it is by enabling a new token. We call it the DAP token, and this token is going to be the access token to all the tools and services that we're going to provide as liquid DAPs. We're going to focus on a three major area、uh, in the beginning. It's the data services. Communications and utilities; these are all things that we want to、uh, help in solving through this DAP token. 那呃，通 Liquid Apps 会引入一个叫 DAP DAPP 的通证。那这个通证是会流通于呃，在 Liquid App 整个生态里面的工具啊，或者它资源的消耗。呃，那目前来讲，它会提供。三种不同的呃解决方案，三类不同。第一类是这个数据层的啊，第二类是这个沟通层的，就是交互交互层的。第三个是工具类的。Let's understand for a second. We know EOS, so what we what can we do better?、Uh, EOS today is a, a Built upon three main resources, right? We have RAM, we have CPU, and we have NAT. Service providers are the block producers. Us,、uh, the storage capacity is around 80, 90 gigs today. It's going to grow、uh, up to 128 by the end of 2019, and it's really expensive. What we see in the future is Liquid Apps Plus EOS. We're going to use Uh, uh, an additional to RAM, a VRAM mechanism that I'm going to talk about in a few minutes.、Uh, CPU is going to be a, an additional to vCPU, a new layer. NAT is going to stay, and in addition to the block producers, we're going to have a new service provider we call DSP, DAP Service Provider. Storage capacity is potentially unlimited, and the cost is. More affordable than RAM today. 
那他这里做了一个对比。呃、uh, ，You want to finish that first? No, we're good. 嗯、um, ，那个，哎，呃，那这里呃，这个 Benny 做了一个对比，就是 Eo 在上面就是 Eo 现在的状况，就是说从我们系统呃资源来讲，我们有内存、有 CPU 和 Net。那呃，作为这三个资源的提供商呢，是 BP。嗯，呃，目前来讲，它的储存空间呢只有啊、呃、内存，所以啊、呃、从主动主网启动中的六十四 G 到现在慢慢增发到的这个八十 G， 然后价格来讲是比较昂贵的。那有了 EOS 加上 Liquid Apps 的话，可以引入两个新的这个资源的概念，一个是叫呃虚拟内存，一个是叫虚拟的 CPU。那提供方来讲，除了 BP 之外，它也引入了一个新的这个角色。啊，叫做 d a p Service Provider， 呃 d a p 提供方，呃，呃，那基于这个模式来讲的话，它的呃这个储存空间可以达到无限，呃，价格也会比较呃便宜，比较能能被支付。Okay. All right. So let's talk about BRAM,、uh, the first implementation. I'm guessing some of you have seen the、uh, the post that we discussed about it. At、uh, we didn't go through the details. Uh, uh, with the rest of the world yet, but、uh, we want to do it a bit more thoroughly with you guys.、Uh, VRAM is a complete compatible storage alternative for RAM today. Okay, it's more affordable than RAM. It's potentially unlimited. It brings you a lot of more data capacity, and it's patent pending. Okay, there's a patent on the fact that we can. Provide off-chain processing with on-chain integrity. Uh, VRAM, it is a on-chain, that is in the network, the data storage method, completely distributed storage method. Uh, it has three characteristics. One is cheap, uh, VRAM is cheap a lot. The second is it has the possibility of extending the unlimited storage capacity. 另外一个就是他们已经申请了这个专利，这个专利就是可以在呃链下去呃处理呃这个储存这个这些这些呃需要的储存的东西，然后同时能去跟链上做一个呃验证。Uh, if you if we look at today's uh uh BP world or EOS world, what we do in the day to day is whenever RAM Is going to run out. We just take more RAM and insert it into our computers as VPs, and、uh, that's called vertical scaling on the cloud world.、Uh, at the end of the day, it's not as scalable as horizontal, and that's what we would like to do with VRAM. It means essentially that a lot of other apps that are not even considering EOS today. Can be built on EOS, like Wikipedia. I don't know if you know, but Ono, for example,、uh, requires a, 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 about four to five gigabytes of RAM in order to facilitate、uh, the amount of users they have today. So they can can only、uh, imagine doing it on mainnet because it's really really heavy cost. VRAM will allow people to do that really easily on the main chain main chain itself. Uh, same as Facebook, Uber, and many many other、uh, examples for apps that we'll be able to build with horizontal scaling. Ben, did you say every PDF, every PDF that that has the trouble? Every PDF, sorry. Uh, Ono. Did you say? I said、uh, Ono. I said Ono. Ono. Okay, got it. Uh, 那个。从我们之前的这个对于内存的储存的方案呢，它是一个一个纵向的这个扩展的一个方案，就是当内存不够的时候，那行，我们在 BP 每个 BP 的这个机子上，我多塞一个呃这个内存硬件、内存条，你买个内存条塞上去，你扩展了这个内存容量，但这个是有一个上限的，这个是因为它这个上限是单机物理内存能能放多少的一个上限，那。VRAM 的概念，它更像是一个横向扩展的，呃，那通过横向扩横向扩展是从这个呃这个这个计算机的架构来讲，是一个 
比较常见的扩展的方案。那通过这样的框扩展方案呢，可以呃把呃储存空间给达到呃另外一个高度。那他举了一个例子，就是说之前有呃一个社交网络链上社交网络 Ono， 他们呃他们的数据量很大，那没有办法在主网上去。呃，运行他们这个应用，那通通过 v r a m 的这样的方案呢，那他可以想象得到，就是说这些对储存有大需求的应用，呃，也可以在呃主网上呃运行，通过结合 v r a m 的方式。So the way we envision it is that the DSPs are the main core of this project. Uh, they're powering all this uh, uh, together. And they're parallel to BPs. This is the reason we're having this this, this uh, conversation right now, is because we believe that BPs today are best positioned to become DSPs as well as BPs uh, when the system launches. And uh, that's where you are right now. Uh, 加入的这个呃、uh, 新的角色 DSP 呢啊。Uh, 它会去运行着我们我们刚刚讲的这个 v r a m 或者其他的机制的核，它是一个核心的组成成员。那它角色其实是跟 BP 在同一个呃 level 的，在同一个抽象层的。呃，大家也可以在图里面看到，它放到就是在 BP 旁边。And I'll let Tal right now explain in deep dive how does v r a m work. Hi. 那个 Tao， 呃 ，Liquid App 的 CTO 会跟我们解释一下 VRAM， 呃，虚拟内存怎么工作的。Okay, so we essentially,、um, when we started developing this, we wanted to bring the same、uh, virtual memory、uh, mechanism or concept from modern operating systems.、Um, but there are three aspects there that were Very important、uh, for us until we we actually、uh, re release it.、Um, so there is. So the the first aspect was providing a virtual um, um, seamless、uh, solution in terms of the DAP development. So it will be just so it will be. Very easy integration, and and we will just provide a, a drop-in replacement for a multi-index table.、Um, the the second part that was important for us was not to change the base layer of of EOS.、Um, and the third part was that while introducing this additional layer, we didn't want to introduce additional layer of trust, so that. Everything that we offload off-chain、um, won't require trusting、uh, the DSPs for one tampering data. Okay. 呃，这虚拟内存 VRAM 它的引入呢，实际上它它的的这个灵感是来自于呃，我们我们的。呃，计算机的操作系统的这个架构，那其实操作系统已经有这个虚拟 RAM 的这个概念。那当它引入的时候，它也考虑了几点呃非常重要的点。第一点就是，对于开发者来讲，它应该是呃无缝的接入的，呃，它只需要呃把它 multi 它的这个整个用法就跟呃 multi index table 的用法非常类似，直接替代掉就可以了。第二个是呃。Actually, what's the second point? <laughs> the the no, second what, point, what? not changing the base protocol of EOS, not requiring BP、okay. change the the basic protocol base. Okay. 那他呃，第二点是呃呃 ，VRAM 的设计不希呃不希望去呃更改任何这个底层的 EOS 链的呃呃任何东西呃，也就是说 BP 还是。运行的这个 EOS 软件一样的，呃，第三点呢，呃，是，嗯、呃，这个 DSP 运行的，呃，我们不需要信任 DSP， 它需要有一个方式可以让这个呃线线下储存的，就链下储存的这些内容
可以用一个链上的这个验证的方案，而不需要我们不需要相信 DSP 到底有没有作假之类的。And actually, we there's a fourth point, which is、um, to be able to reconstruct all the data from the chain history, not not relying on the DSP to to have the data available in order to to make it accessible later and to be able to reconstruct it just from the chain history. That 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 was another important point. 第四点考量就是，呃 ，DSP 的所有的这个记录呢，都可以从链上重新建出来。呃呃，就算就是 DSP 那边呃的所有的历史，呃，所有所有的这个最终的这个储存的东西，我们都可以在链上呃重重造出来。这是第四个最后一点考量。Cool. Okay. So the the way we implemented it. Um, is by providing um, um, an API that is EOS IO compatible API that's being operated by those DSPs that Benny described,、um, and those DSPs basically intercept、uh, normal transactions, and they detect、um, They detect what kind of data needs to be introduced, needs to be loaded into the RAM for the current transaction, and that way the RAM becomes only a cache layer、uh, for the data that's、uh, being accessed right now.、Um, and during this warmup, the、uh, the contract can verify the integrity of the data by keeping、uh, cryptographic proof. Of the latest,、uh, the latest、uh, version of the data. 那它的做法呢是，嗯，在这个呃 DSP 层呢，呃、啊，首先它 DSP 会提供一个跟 EOS IO 这套软件的呃呃一样就兼容的一个协议。那当呃一个请求发给 DSP 的时候，这 DSP 会收到这个请求，然后。截下来之后，他会去分析说，呃，哪一些数据是需要，呃，被加载的。那然后他分析完之后，就会从链下把这个数据取出来，然后呃，放到了这个链上的那个 RAM， 也就是 RAM 它其实就是一个缓存层，然后再让这个呃呃，然后再去运行。运行的时候，呃，在合约也可以去验证说，这数据到底是不是正确的。Uh, okay, and、uh, after, uh, ex- uh, immediately after the action, the, um, the DSP uh, knows to evict the data from from the RAM from the cache layer, and the contract only keeps the cryptographic proof, which is kind of a Merkle tree that allows to index and do queries on the index、uh, using partial proofs of of the data. Can you repeat this part because I broke up a little bit?、Um, I, I was saying that uh, uh,、um, immediately after the transaction, the DSP knows to evict the data from the from 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 the RAM, and the contract knows how to modify the cryptographic proof、um, for the next warm, basically. Okay. No. 在这个呃交易 ，DSP 这边这个交易，我刚才讲那个交易完成之后呢，呃 ，DSP 也会把呃刚才在呃内存里面这个缓存给清掉，那同时它也会清掉这个呃需要保留这个这个呃 Merkle Tree 的这个哈希，这样的话它可以保证这个数据是也数据的验证也也是同步的。Um, so that's that's basically the overview、um, of how how the mechanism works.、Um, it's already running on Kaiyin,、um, and there's a reference code for for、um, a called token, which is a token that doesn't hold the the balances in RAM and uses the the mechanism with with the library and everything. This is the whole VRAM its work mechanism. 呃，然后目前这一套呃方案已经在麒麟测试网上面
已经在运行了，然后也有一个呃叫 Co Token 的一个呃样例实现。那这个呃这个样例实现做了一件事情，就是把呃呃 Token 呃这个合约呃用用 v r a m 的方式实现的，让储存所有这个 token 列表啊 ，token 这个这个哪一个哪一个人用了什么 token， 这些都不不不使用链上的这个内存，而使用呃 VRAM 的方式储存。And and soon after this call, we're uh, going to release uh, an SDK that allows you uh, we call it Zeus Zeus sorry,、um, which is an SDK that allows you to Run this whole system locally and start developing and start、uh, working with it. 那在这个会议之后，他们也会发布呃另外一个产品叫 Zeus 啊、呃，宙斯啊、呃，呃，这一套是可以让你在本地运行起我们刚刚讲的这整整一套东西，然后可以直接在本地开发做一些调试。This is the benefit that this call has that the last call didn't have. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so,、uh, thank you, Tal. What we、uh, want out of this? Uh, uh, do do we do we want to look at the previous chart and see if people have questions? Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Exactly.、Uh, uh, I, I think one thing I didn't mention, probably a couple of things that that I didn't mention, but one thing that's important to mention is that、um, we recommend that a DApp developer use more than one DSP, so so we'll gain the availability and redundancy for, for the for the cache and the data. So, because DSP is now going to take on this. 呃、uh, ，VRAM 储存的这个角色，那他也讲了说，他他推荐说，如果开发者使用这个 VRAM 这套方案的话，他希望可以使用多个 DSP， 啊、呃，这样可以保证呃更高的这个可用性。然后我们看到这个背景这张图呢 ，So this graph， 呃、uh, 呃、uh, ，What is this graph？ This this graph describes、um... Any operation that requires a, a VRAM、uh, type action that needs a warmup before it, it,、uh, it actually propagates to the mainnet. Okay. So, 那这个这个图基本上就是一个整个的工作流，呃，从 DSP 的角色到这个这个主网里边的整个工作流是怎么样的，包括它从。这个呃，链下储存漏到呃链上的这个 RAM 里面，和包括它把它清除掉的整个的过程，大家可以看一下。I have some questions. Hi. 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 Tom. Uh, thanks for your uh introduce this VRAM uh scheme. I'm very interested uh interested in the scale uh. Technical、uh, schemes, and、uh, first of all, I want to say the IBC uh, uh, system has uh, uh, initial has realized in both and、uh, and U US mainnet, and uh, actually uh, the VRAM、uh, protocol has uh, 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 is a different thing with the IBC system. So、uh, these are two different things, but.、Uh, I have several questions about the VRAM. Can you hear me? Hi. Ah. Ah. I have the first question is、uh, how to uh ensure the consensus or transaction uh transaction execute result. Ah,、uh, in blockchain system, ah,、uh, blockchain is a very uh special protocol and uh, the core. Concept of blockchain is consensus. Uh, means uh, every transaction uh, executed in every、um, BP node must have the same result. If if twenty one block uh block producer 
they execute one transaction, but uh, uh, with a different result. This m may cause uh, something very bad. Maybe maybe fork, maybe uh, let the node disconnect with each other. So uh, my first question is, uh, and the VRAM and the, and the cache layer, how to ensure that uh, the consensus or every transaction uh, between all the BP nodes, between all the uh, EOS network? Sure. I think what uh, Qin Zhong meant, it was uh, consistency. Sure, uh, that, that's a great question. And that's, that's exactly why we didn't want to uh, modify the base layer. So the way it works is that it doesn't rely on any consensus. Um, regardless um, of the availability and redundancy needs, theoretically you could trust uh, a single DSP just because any warm-up request is um, verified, is being verified within the contract before it's actually being used as, as the cache layer. So there's no, um, there's no trust or consensus needed from this DSP layer. And, and if, you, if you look at the, at the, at the chart, uh, at the flow chart, you'll notice that by the time the action propagates to the mainnet, the data is already in RAM and on, on every BP node. So it's kind of transparent to the base protocol. Uh,你可以翻译一下。对,它是这样子的,就是我的理解就是,它就是说在二十一个BP那一层呢,它需要consensus,对吧?不然的话就乱套了嘛,对吧? Uh, 我漏进去这个RAM之后呢 uh, okay, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll the logic. Uh, I know the, um, uh, the logic is uh, use the uh, current EOS RAM and the, and the uh, real cache, cache layer. And uh, uh, when the uh, well contract uh, access uh, the VRAM data, and uh, the first thing is load the VRAM data into the RAM. Uh, my, uh, my question is, uh, um, we have 21 block build producer. How to uh, ensure that uh, every, every BP node uh, load the same data into their USL RAM from, uh, from the VRAM network? Uh, sure. So um they actually are not responsible for, for that in, in this model. Um, in this model, by the time it's actually being um, ran on, on the chain, on the mainnet, the block producers don't know what VRAM or cache is. It's already in there. Just because this layer of, of DSPs um, prepared this data for them in a prerequisite or, or, uh, or, uh, or, uh, or an action that was performed just before that. So, so there's no need for BPs to even be aware of this mechanism. And there's another advantage that's um, by the time it reaches the mainnet, the action, it doesn't slow down. Accessing the data doesn't slow down the action itself because it's already in RAM. Is that, uh, is that clear, that, that point? I think, uh, I think uh, Chen Zhong's question was, um, 
So if you're if you're loading the data from VRAM to RAM, and uh, you know through the DSP layer, how do you ensure that um, you know the the right virtual RAM is loaded, through, the right content is loaded into uh, the RAM? Um, yes. The the warm up the warm up uh, request. Is an, the warm-up action is is a is a standard um, transaction that 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 uh, reaches the mainnet, and it okay. will actually fail if it contains the wrong beta or tempered data, because the action itself verifies the the integrity. So, okay. whichever DSP will decide to to do the warm-up, or whichever DSP is re responsible to do the warm-up. Um, it, he will propagate a, a, a normal action or, or send a normal action that will load the data from VRAM to the RAM, and, and that action will be treated just like any other action with the BP's consensus, and, and the state will be the same uh, with all BPs, just like any other action that is changing the, the, the state. Gafeng, if you can translate, and then I'll continue to the next slide because we'll have more time for questions in the end. Yeah. Uh, well, it, it was a long discussion, so not sure if we can if if we can <laughs> we can do it translate it entirely. Uh, but but I think the, the key point is, yeah yeah. Uh, in fact, I have uh, two small questions and. Uh, 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 do you uh, do you show the? If we do it, we we'll delay it to after the next slides. Is that okay? Okay, 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 uh, okay. Thank you. Wanna, wanna say just one last thing. You mentioned uh, side chains, uh, so this is not trying to be any kind of side chain or or new kind of consensus that, that is unrelated to the to the BP's consensus. It's a, it's an entirely we, we see it as a as an additional. <laughs> I understand. No, no side chain. Right, and and okay. another aspect regarding uh, um, sister chains and, and side chains is that we we see this solution serving as shared memory between side chain side chains that when IBC is introduced, you can basically um, um, mess. You can basically send a, a single message that contains a pointer. To a data set in VRAM, and if the DSPs are the same DSPs in the in, in basically in, in the two chains, you can you can transfer an entire data set using just a small message as a as a pointer. Now Tal, Tal ruined my surprise. That's it. Uh, okay, let's continue. Okay. So basically, uh, the reason for this conversation right now is we really think that BPs are at best position to become DSPs. Uh, uh, main reason is uh, we know you, we know we can trust you as uh, developers. And more than that, users will be able uh, uh, to easily understand what Tal tried to explain right now. This is a complex uh, solution. And not every user will understand that it do, you, do, you do not need uh, any additional uh, um, uh, trust layer here. It's the same trust you'll have with a, a, a normal uh, EOS node. Uh, but since VPs will be able to run DSPs, this uh, uh, issue will probably disappear. Uh, 做一样, 这样的一个事情, 
So let's understand how this is working, this whole mechanism. So a DSP uh, introduced more memory into the system, okay? Uh, but the way it works is a little bit like a big company that you probably heard of. Uh, uh, Block One did something similar, okay? Um, think about uh, uh, DAP token for a second. DEP token is going to be distributed by reverse Dutch auction mechanism, meaning that each user that will participate in the TGE uh, uh, changes the price of DAP token. Or in other words, the users are the one in charge of how much they're going to pay for a single DAP token. What will be the DAP token price? The second step is the DSPs, the DSPs themselves create service packages. They can create any service package they want and they can uh, 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 choose what the rates of the packages they create. So for example, uh, if I'm a DSP, I will create a service package of one gigabyte of uh, 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 memory for let's say a minimum of a thousand DAP token that will be staked to me. Stefan? Uh, DSP, this, this, uh, DAP, DAP uh, how long was the reverse Dutch auction? It's going to be uh, 333 days. Yong uh,你必须这个质押多少的这个DAP so what it means is, at the, at the first hand, the user choose uh, the price of that. On the second hand, DSP choose how much are their rates are. This means that it's a complete free market. And the end step, the third step would be the DAP developers will choose which service package they want to uh, 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 have as their service provider, they're going to stake their token into the DSP, and the DSP will be getting a, a pro rata inflation based on the total staked token in the system. Okay. Now, uh, 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 RAM 然后VRAM提供VRAM要收多少钱 uh, so the, the main difference from the current uh, block producers to the DSPs, I mean, fine, uh, 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 ecosystem-wise, is that DSPs <laughs> choose how much they're getting for the service. Say the current BP uh, 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 market right now, we know that a lot of BPs are struggling because the rates of uh, EOS are uh, low. Uh, think if BPs would be able to actually say, you know what, 
from now on, I want to get this much and to actually increase the amount they will need to get. Uh, that's the kind of solution we're trying to uh, show here. Okay. Uh... 在呃，在这个体系里面 ，DSP 它呃可以通过，就是说，他认为提供这个服务应该收多少的呃这个呃这个 debt 的抵押啊、呃、来进行提供。And that's a free market for us.、Uh, and as it, as Tal mentioned before,、uh, as a DAP developer, you are uh, uh, able to choose more than one DSP. Uh, and to stake for more than one,、uh, in order to get、uh, redundancy and uh, availability uh, at any time. 那对于大开发者来讲，那这这整个都是一个自由市场，所以大开发者来讲也可以自己去选择，呃，对应的那个 DSP， 他也可以选择多个，为了冗余也好，或者为了这个高可用也好。Uh, there is no limit to the amount of uh, uh, DSPs available.、Uh, we do believe in free market. That means that we won't be limiting uh, uh, this as well. I saw that as、uh, one of the questions.、Um, and the minimal requirements for a DSP node in the system is the same as running an EOS node in the main net.、Uh, it's actually.、Uh, Comes from there.、Um, this is where we are、uh, through of this uh, uh, presentation. It is important for us, for you to understand that we see that as a new beginning for new DApps to emerge in、uh, EOS in general.、Um, it's something that hasn't been done before. Uh, Tal is surprisingly amazing.、Uh, when he first introduced this、uh, idea to me, I was、uh, telling him that it can't be done, and then he proved me wrong. And I'm happy to say that right now he proved others wrong by、uh, this system running on Kylin testnet、uh, and working. Uh, the thing. Cool. Uh, 那这个呃、uh, Liquid Apps 团队希望说通过 Liquid Apps 这这一系列的工具，能去呃、uh, 提供让让更多的这个 DApp 可以呃、uh, 到 EOS 上面来去开发。那在一开始 Tao 他们的 CTO 想到这个方案的时候 ，Benny 呃感觉听起来就有点不靠谱嘛，怎么可能可以做到这个呢？后来套实现了之后，呃，还是呃非常非常的这个呃有意思的，也有很多人呃看了这个方案之后觉得特别的有意思，所以希望如果这个呃能能更多人可以去关注到 Liquid Apps。Thank you. Uh, we do have a, a few more minutes uh, for a few more questions. Any questions you'll put in this chat, we will make sure to answer and post. On the、uh, Telegram channel, I'll、uh, make sure that the Telegram channel be, is being added to our chat here right now. You'll be able able to attend. There are two chats, by the way, one for a、uh, uh, general public, and the second one is for developers only, so we can actually discuss、uh, these issues that Song and others have been uh, uh, introducing here.、Uh, okay. So I'll, I'll try to to answer a few of the questions.、Uh, even though I think there are excellent questions here, and most of them are relevant,、uh, not only for for this forum. So I would very I would like us to to really continue this discussion in the group. There's one question that that、uh, that's relevant. Can it can it that、uh, instead of DSP also run the DSP package? So anyone can can participate.、Uh, anyone can can be a DSP basically.、Um, so so there is there is that.、Um, so the answer is yes. Yeah. <laughs> so there, and also,、uh, Ron asked if there is there what what's the database that's powering this. 
currently the implementation is running on uh, IPFS, but any distributed uh, data store can be used. You can use any backend that you want to power the IPFS, and it's not relying on the on the distributed nature of IPFS um, in terms of that the data is pinned locally uh, when it needs to be served. So we don't rely on, on latency in fetching or syncing IPFS specifically. Uh, what else? Uh, hi, Tao. I have a question. And uh, do you need to modify the base layer uh, source code or EOS IO or and uh, and some uh, WASM interface uh, in the uh, base layer code to use the VRAM APIs? Cool. Um, so there's no change in the in the in the base layer. There's no change in the Node OS code. Neither nor in nor in the BP. Um, not in the BP, nor in the in the API node itself. There's it's it's an additional uh, layer, a proxy layer. Um, uh, sorry. And you mean, and uh, uh, do you mean that the contract itself access the outer outside the world network uh, directly? Yeah, and and the the other aspect of that is that. Uh, for use to use it in a contract, you you need to include the the library that we're releasing today, um, that that provides you um, a drop in replacement for the multi-index table. So instead of uh, saying EOSIO um, multi-index table, you'd say uh, um, VRAM multi-index table, but the interface should stay the same. Okay, thanks. Uh, I, I don't think they're that, that excited though. <laughs> okay, now, now I see Nate is a bit like smiling, so okay. Uh, <laughs> I, in fact, I, 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 what I, I'm afraid uh, is uh, if the, the smart contract access the outside world network uh, directly, um, it's very hard. Uh, maybe you have the solution. Maybe it's very hard to uh, keep the consensus of the whole network. Uh, that's the uh, the hardest problem. So if you have a, sol a solution, uh, have solution, uh, it's, it's fantastic. Right. I think that the real solution is not to rely on consensus. Uh, and and I'll tell you why I think that. Uh, because relying on consensus is not vertically scalable. Um, in order to rely on a real consensus, you need to copy everything for every participant in the consensus. And that doesn't really allow vertical scaling in, in, in the same way that uh, what we're trying to do allows, where each DHCP can shard a different uh, part of the data uh, to be accessible for the mainnet. Tal, Rory asked a question in the group, which I uh, I think you would like. Well, let's look across blocks or single block. Um, a transaction completes in a, in a single block. The warm-up, however, can span cross blocks. Um, we, we definitely see a way where we optimize it to a point where uh, everything um, is inside the same block. But right now, the warm up and, and the transaction itself can span between two blocks. Uh, but not, not it, uh, it couldn't be split. Like the warm up is, is one transaction, and, and, the, and, the, act, and the following action is, is just the start up transaction. Okay, regarding the last question. Uh, this sounds very disruptive to BP business. Uh, DSPs don't have to get votes to make money. Uh, DSPs are service providers. So they do need to get audience, uh, or in our case, DAP developers, to choose specifically them to get service from them. But it's not instead of the BP world. Being 
still need to go through all the BPs in order to become a part of the chain. Uh, all transactions go through BPs still. So it's actually complementary and it's not uh, uh, against uh, anything that the BP stands for. Uh, yeah, in, in a way, the, the, the point that I mentioned earlier regarding consensus and, and, uh, and horizontal scaling, uh, it's, not, it's not only relevant for, um, it's not only correct technical-wise, it's also in terms of the economics. Um, if we really want to, to reach to a point where we have real horizontal scaling, we need to be able to, to divide the costs, basically. Um, and for that, we need a different model. Okay. But now, now it's like a lot of questions, so I'll try to keep up. Uh, do you envision a thousand DSVs and 80 paid BPs? No, I feel like in any uh, uh, right market, usually uh, you come to a consolidation and uh, there is a stagnant amount of uh, service providers. Uh, I feel like it's going to be the same with VPs and same with DSPs in the futures as well. So uh, I don't think they're going to be a, a thousand uh, DSPs. Um, I think there is also um, a big difference between conceptually between DPs and DSPs, in which that DSPs can have a, a kind of diversification in the uh, service level they provide, uh, whether it's uh, availability or geographic location or or uh, or the latency of the storage by, by having different kinds of, of IPFS packets. Um, so, so we see that also plays into the whole free market uh, um, <laughs> that we're trying to introduce. Right. Concept is in service provider layer might help mainnet, but be more active and, and to be more active and efficient. Good. Uh, opportunity to have some kind of a DSP marketplace. I think you're right, Nate. Uh, there is a, uh, an opportunity for that. Uh, we hope the community will uh, uh, assist in uh, creating some uh, And uh, I think I don't think good work is a question. But thank you uh, <laughs> for that. Um, Tal, okay, you I have a question. Yeah. I want to. Uh 对刚才我在我想问这个问题没有一个看它是传说你应该是这样我觉得跟打包没关系它主要是就是因为它有个冷启动过程到打包那层已经快了但是那个那个 呃，Transaction的那个类型应该不支持这种啊，它就用transform的，还是用什么？它因为它要预先解析Transaction呢？啊，是这样，就是它的核心问题还不是说卖不卖，这这是一个次要问题。最主要的问题，它是合约直接访
since there will be a warm up, and the warm up is essentially loading data from IPFS to the the, the RAM on on the main net, uh, the performance will 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 be slower. You know, because the, 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 the one more process will take some time and it could also span across multiple blocks. So um, it, you know, from the DAP developers or, or the DAP players um, user experience point of view, uh, it might not be ideal. That, I think that was one thing that was brought up. Uh, the second thing was brought up, which I think we were, we were still discussing was uh, uh, Actually, we should, we should probably finish that discussion first because I, I, it hasn't got to a point where uh, we, we had a, we had a question yet. But 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 we'd love to hear about the performance. Whether there's some benchmark uh, that, that that you guys did. Sure. So so um, couple of points. So we we see it exactly the same. They have having the same uh, kind of of trade offs. Um, as, as the virtual memory in modern operating systems. Um, so there's large aspects of the data today that doesn't need to be uh, accessible all the time. And we, we think that by allowing developers to decide when to load and when to evict the data, we, we can provide them um, this kind of flexibility for this for this trade-off, just the, just the, in the same way that uh, developers do it in modern operating systems. Um, does, does that answer answer that question? Okay, now what the idea is to has to have the very end to let let the developer to use it, right? To to use the virtual memory. 不是，他是在呃呃呃，对对，没错没错，但但是真正的这个冷冷热的调的的，我们指的这个 load 或者 evict 是在 DSP 和这个主链中间，就是说从从从实际用户角度，他发一个 request 的时候 ，DSP 会先收到 d s p 就是一个 API 层，你可以这么理解，然后他解析完之后，他会帮你做这一系列操作。嗯，我就怕他说。他说写的代码说，因为就相当于是我在代码里面要去自己考虑，是说我什么时候去用，我要用那个资源嘛，从外部漏出来，然后再再用嘛。这个这个看法嘛。Yeah, so when this when this point was, uh, if if the user if, if the developer has to make the decision of when to load, when not to load, you know what to evict, uh, it would be a change of uh their developing paradigm, right? They would have to uh, think about it. Uh, so, and, and he's interested in seeing, uh, you know, comparisons and examples of how that works. For sure. So the the first implementation will be um, automatically managed, like uh, some like uh, some kind of garbage collection um, that that's completely transparent from from the developer. But we do plan to. To, and we see the potential to, to give more control to the user. And the, the example I, I like to give is, is, uh, is um, there is absolutely no reason for a game session to be in memory when, when, when the ratio between the active time of, of, of the user and, uh, and, and the entire time of, of the chain is, is, so, is so, so small. Where, where most of the time you don't need this data accessible, and after you do the initial warm up in the beginning of the day, the game, uh, the game experience should be smooth because the data should already be in the RAM. Mm. Okay. Hi, Tom. Uh, where is the, the source code? Uh, can you share the source code? Uh. Sure. Uh, we will do it uh, following following the soon after the, the call. Mm. And I want to ask, uh, uh, did you have test the uh, situation uh, when the contracts uh, um, uh, call uh, VRAM data through HTTP, uh, through, through uh, the network, and uh, the contract didn't uh, verify the data, and uh, uh, we, we think we have some... Uh, uh, 
uh, malicious actors. I, uh, we think we think we have uh, several malicious and uh, different malicious uh, provide different data to this contract, and so the contract uh, different BP get different uh, result uh, when they uh, run the transaction and uh, what will happen in this situation. Did you have tested this? The the um, the warm up will in this situation the warm up request will simply fail, uh, and the transaction will will simply fail. Uh, the DSP can't tamper the data um, just because the warm up request itself is it's not just loading the the RAM uh, data from uh, the v, the VRAM data to to the cache layer. It's also verifying uh, using a miracle proof that the data wasn't uh, tampered with. And uh, I want to say some BP may be verify a pass and they think the transaction uh, is okay. And they um, pack the transaction into a block and they uh, produce more block uh, upon this block. But uh, some of BP, they verified failed and they not will not accept this block. This will, uh, I think, maybe will uh, cause the network fork. Um, I'm I'm not sure how how it will be possible with 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 the with the current method. Just because the the, the BPs are not aware of the mechanism. That so by the time the block is produced, there is a consensus of, of what's already in the cache layer. So uh, uh, regarding the, the trying to attack this mechanism, we're going to have a, a bug bounty with, with focusing on, on these points. Um, and we definitely invite you, uh, everyone to try to attack it. Um, there is another thing that that's, uh, I find cool about this, which is that the pointer for the data when the contract is is actually uh, requesting the data from DSP, it's requesting the data as an IPFS pointer. Now, IPFS pointer, the IPFS URI is also the hash of the content. So there is no uh, way that when the warm-up happens to provide the wrong content because the URI and the hash is the same in, in, the, in the very base layer. Yes, I know. And the IPFS system, uh, 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 we have a, no, a kind of tank uh, called the uh, uh, road attack. Uh, so uh, a tanker can, uh, can provide uh, uh, different content uh, through the IP, uh, through the HTTP or the network. If the contract didn't uh, verify the content uh, with the, the correct ha uh, hashi itself, it may cause uh, they receive the um, not non correct content. So, so if I understand you correctly, if if someone decides to bypass. The, if a contract decides to mess with, with the library, the VRAM library that we provide and bypass the re verification, it will definitely allow uh, malicious attacks. And that's why we, we won't recommend it. We, we recommend only to use this mechanism through the RAM library, the VRAM library that we provide. That, that should, should ensure the, the, the data integrity. Okay, thanks. I will learn the source code. Thank you, sir. I, I, I would, I would uh, uh, add two more things that were asked in the previous uh, uh, video. One, uh, RAMless accounts that I want Tal to like hint in a second, and we'll probably continue this in the Telegram. And uh, I'll keep the next one for the next video. Sure. Um, we have, we, we envisioned a way when we're testing a way to have users interact with, with contracts, with, with keys that don't require an actual um, uh, EOS account. Um, 
I don't want to get in too much into the details yet, but uh, we think it's very, very promising because it, it may allow you, that developers to, to assume the cost of bringing you new users. And easily onboarding them uh, in the process. Uh, all right, guys. I'm very happy to have you all uh, in this uh, video. Thank you, Dafang, for translation. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, we will continue this in the Telegram chats. And we'll be, make sure to answer all the rest of the questions uh, in the Telegram chat as well. Uh, feel free for, to send any question uh, either to me or Tal privately or, or in the group. Uh, and let's make it happen. Yeah, we'll see. Thank you so much. Thanks. <coughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Thank you.